hand and greet your neighbor and say, I love you. I love you with the love of the Lord. The love of God will not fail you. Tell them that the love of God will not fail you. Tell them that the love of God, the love of God will not fail you. 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 I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you with the love of God that is on the inside of me. I assure you the love of God will not fail you. You are going where you need to go. You will reach your destiny. In the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you shout in the house of the Lord? Come on, shout. want us to, you know, celebrate the anointing in this house. Can you celebrate the anointing? Come and rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Woo! Don't be religious. Oh, oh. Rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the next door neighbor and tell them that I love you so much. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Your future is so bright. Is so bright. Tell them you don't need to believe this. You don't need to believe but this. But I'm speaking it as a prophet of God. I'm speaking it as a prophet. Tell of them, God. say, brother, sister, sister, don't worry. Don't worry. After the meeting of tonight, after the meeting of tonight, even your bank account will respect you. Your bank account will respect you. Smile at them and tell oh! your future is so wonderful. Oh yes. Just wave your hands towards heaven. Wave your hands towards heaven. Just worship the King of Kings. Tell him how much he, he is to you. Honor his presence tonight. And tell him that, Father, without your presence, there isn't much that I will do. Yes, speak with your own language. We worship you, Father. We want to give you praise and honor in this house. Thank you for your presence, my father. Thank you for your presence, my father. Thank you for your presence, my
wonderful teaching. Glory to God. You know, as she was teaching, I felt the power of God so much. I'm telling you the truth. Hallelujah. And before I finish the 15 minutes that has been given unto me, I just want to honor the presence of I don't know, you know, I don't know whether I should say my sister, but you just mean a lot to me, prophetess. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was telling a man of God on Sunday that you see, I've seen women of God, many women of God in the body of Christ, but I've never seen somebody who honors the presence of God like you do. Are you jealous? Women of God, as I'm looking now, the Lord just showed me the month of June. Then I'm asking, what does the month of June has to do with this ministry? And the Lord is telling me that there's a shifting that is taking place in the realms of the Spirit. I receive Where it. the ministry, Holy Ghost Embassy, is moving from a national position into an international one. I receive it. Glory to God. And I'm saying this, I'm saying this because as the ministry moves, your life is moving to an I receive it. Wave your hands towards heaven. Just wave your hands towards heaven. Begin to thank the Lord. Thank Man. him for that word. Hallelujah. Now let me show you something. First Corinthians chapter one, chapter, chapter twelve. First Corinthians chapter twelve. Glory to God. Are you enjoying tonight? That's why you must tell your friends that never miss the midweek service. <laughs> Glory to God. Are you there? First, the first uh, book of Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 1. Glory to God. Say thank you, Jesus. Say precious Jesus. I love you so much. Are you there? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we are reading from verse 1. If you have it, can you just read it for me? From the KJV. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 reads, Now about spiritual gifts, brothers. I want you to read it very slow. Now about spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. Yes. You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other... Is that verse 1? Just read verse 1. Now about spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. Yes. Amen. Let me just read it um, from the KJV. He says, now concerning spiritual gifts... Brethren, I will not have you ignorant. And I want you to see something there. You see, if you are a Bible scholar, you will know that whenever you meet, particularly from the KJV, when you are reading a verse or any chapter in the KJV, then you see words that are in italic. They will normally say that those words were not in the original manuscript. But the writer who was writing whatever that has been written, he had to add something for you at least to have a meaning of what he's trying to say. I don't, do you, did you capture that one? Now, I want you to see something here. He says, now concerning spiritual gifts and you will see there that the word gifts is in italic. 
That means the word gifts was not in the original manuscript. Do you capture what I'm talking about? Hello? Hello? Amen. The word gifts was not, it is not in the original translation. Now, I want to show you something there because I'm going to take that word out. Then you hear what Paul wanted the church of Corinth to hear here. Do you understand me? He says, now concerning spiritual, or concerning the spiritual, brethren, I will not have you to be ignorant. Did you capture that now? Amen. Listen, that means this man, he was saying that you might be informed concerning the things of the natural. How your life is not moving forward, you might be informed about that. You look into your life, your life is not moving in the direction that you, you want your life to go into. But now, when Paul comes into the church of Corinth, he is saying unto them that there is something that I do not want you to become ignorant of. And now this is the spiritual. Amen. I will tell you what is the reason. You see... I said to a particular person that every successful person in this world, they are not successful by their own means. Amen. There is a spiritual backing behind their success. Amen. Now, Paul comes and says something that concerning the spiritual, I don't want you to become ignorant. Do you know why? Because your success is in the spiritual realm. Amen. Ha. Let me break this one. There are people who can say that, you know, there are people who say you've got the heavens and the earth. One day I was sitting down then I said, Father, what is the gap between the heavens and the earth? That means the spiritual and the natural. And God said something that is amazing. He said to me, son, you see, there is only one realm and that realm is the realm of the spiritual. Amen. Then I said, Father, what are you talking about? He said to me, you see, the natural is in the spiritual. I don't know if you kept what I'm Amen. talking about. That means if the natural world is in the spiritual realm, everything that is functioning in this natural world or natural realm is controlled by the spiritual world. Amen. Ha. The woman of God was talking about love now. She was talking about love. You see, love is a principle in the realms of the spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Here you are, you want to move forward. How can I move forward? I showed you something. That the Bible says that your establishment in life depends on you honoring the Lord. That means you just have to come to a position when you tell yourself that I am going to honor the Lord. But then from being established, you need to get to a position where you enter into another spiritual principle that is called the, the principle of prosperity. Amen. Now, when you enter into that, that principle or that realm, there are things that I expect of you to do. And that is to honor those that the Lord has sent unto your life. Amen. You hear what I'm talking about? Amen. He says concerning the spiritual, you can be, you know, you can be ignorant of the things that has to do with the natural world. But brothers and sisters, concerning the spiritual, that means your life is controlled by the spiritual world. Amen. Ha. Huh. There was a time I was looking for a contract. And there were many bitters there. It was in the mining industry. I won't even tell you the name. And I, as I was there preparing the documents and everything, the Lord told me something. He said, you see, son, you can dictate who's going to win this contract. And I said to him, Father, what are you talking about? He said, see, the realms of the spirit has the power of everything that is natural in this world. Amen. Then as I was sitting there, I said, Father, I want you to teach me the principles tonight. He said to me, the first principle that I want you to do, I want you to speak in tongues. Then I said, Father, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I went into my room, then I was speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. Then when I was done, the Lord said something to me. He said, from where you are, you can decree a thing and it will be established. Amen. Amen. Ha, ha, ha. 
Glory to God. Amen. Ha, man of God, do you mean I can sit in my house and tell the future how the future ought to be? Yes, I'm saying that. Glory to God. Amen. As the person next to you, are you sleeping? As them, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? You see, God is talking here. Amen. She just said something that is amazing. That you see, when you come to the house of God, don't look into the container delivering the message. Amen. God talks. At all times, God is talking. Amen. Many of you are ignorant of the spiritual things. Glory to God. Amen. You see, the Lord wants you to prosper. I'm telling you the truth. The Lord wants you to do what? Prosper. The Lord wants you to prosper. There is something that many Christians are ignorant of. Many Christians are ignorant of the fact that money is spiritual. That is why in the realms of the spirit, the only thing that is equivalent to your life is money. Hence, for God to prove that you can give your life to him, he tests you with money that you have. Glory to God. Amen. All right, let me show you something that you will understand. Are you there? Are you there? First Corinthians. Glory to God. He says, now concerning spiritual gifts or concerning the spiritual brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Glory to God. Amen. Let me show you something. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. Just go there quickly, then I'll be done. Glory to God. Amen. Say this, say, I am prosperous. I am prosperous. Say, there is no weapon that is formed against me that will prosper. There is no weapon that is formed against me to prosper. Do you believe those words? Amen. I'm going to show you something after this. Are you there? Amen. Are you there? Amen. Do you have a Bible? Amen, we do. Glory to God. Amen. Just read it for us. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh -huh. but against principalities. Yes. Against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, uh -huh. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. He says, our war is not concerning the natural that you see. Glory to God. Amen. That means your success does not rely on the natural that you see. But he says, if you want to influence things in your life, you've got to come to the realms of the spiritual. Are you here, brethren? Amen. Are you here? Amen. Let me tell you something. God, the reason why God sent servants, or the reason why God sent his servants over your life, it was because God wants to dictate the pace of your life. That means God wants to control how your life ought to be like. The woman of God said something that is, you know, that is powerful. He said, she said, everything that is beautiful comes from the Lord. Amen. Everything that is beautiful comes from the Lord. That means, yes, God wants his people to be prosperous in life. And I'm going to show you something. Go to the book of Mark chapter 11. Quickly, Mark chapter 11, verse 20, 22. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mark 11. Hallelujah. 
tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor that don't be too quiet. If you, if you are too quiet, we'll transfer you to another church. All right, just read from verse 23. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, and I want you to be a, a bit slow, for verily I say unto you, uh -huh. that whosoever shall uh -huh. say unto this mountain, uh -huh. be thou removed, uh -huh. and be thou cast into the sea. Now, this there is something that I want you to see here. This is what is a spiritual principle. He's saying, for verily I say unto you, that some of you, is that what he said? Okay. He's saying, for verily I say unto you, only South Africans. What translation are you reading? Okay. For verily I say unto you that only the causes. Are you reading the relevant Bible? Hello? All right. Can you read the one that you read? I want to see something there. Can you read it again? For verily I say unto you. He says, verily I say unto you. That means he's giving you his word. Amen. I want you to capture that one. Yes. That whosoever. That whoever. Shall it, say. Are you included in the whoever? Amen. Yes. You see something. That whosoever. Yes. Shall say unto this mountain. Uh-huh. Be thou removed. He says, whosoever shall send the bulldozers into the mountain. Amen. Is it what he's saying? He says, whosoever shall say to this mountain. Amen. Oh. Amen. When Moses died, God raised a man called Joshua. And when God raised this man called Joshua, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, God approached the man, teaching the man the principles of becoming a success in his life. Then he said something that is amazing to him that you see, this law that I've given unto you or this word that I'm giving unto you, I do not want that word to depart from your mouth. Amen. Now he's coming and say that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Tonight, I want to ask you a question. What is the mountain that is before you? Is it the mountain of limitations in your finances? Are you in a position where even your, your husband told you that I'm divorcing you? Are you in the position where the world has even told you that you will never make it in life? Now, Jesus comes and says that whosoever shall say to this mountain, whether you are a causer, whether you are a so to speak in person, it does not matter where you come from. Amen. He said, whoever will have the audacity to say to the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. See something there? Yes. Be thou removed. Uh-huh. And be thou cast into the sea. Uh -huh. And shall not doubt in his heart. He says, when you are saying those words and you are not doubting in your heart. That means I can stand in my room and tell myself that I'm going to prosper. Then I don't doubt those words. And from there I walk like a prosperous person. Amen. He says, whosoever. Are you with me? Amen. I want to teach you something tonight. You will realize that there is nothing that can stop your progress. Amen. Come on. Just continue. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Uh -huh. And shall not doubt in his heart. Uh -huh. But shall believe that those things which he had said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. All right. Read verse 24. Then you'll see something that is amazing there. Therefore. He says, therefore. I say unto you. Uh-huh. 
What things uh -huh. soever you desire. Now, I want you to pick this. He says, what things that you desire. Number one, I want you to pick the word desire out of that scripture. Remember the verse that we read before this one. He said, to whosoever will say to this mountain, be thou removed. And you are not doubting in your heart. You shall have exactly what your mouth speaks. Amen. That means your mouth was not made for Makuinya only. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. I was saying to somebody, there are some ladies, your mouth, you know, they look so beautiful. You apply all sorts of lipsticks, whatever. But your future is going into a wrong direction. That means there are things that you are not doing with that mouth that you have. Now he comes and says, whosoever will not be lazy to use the mouth that I've given unto them. And utilize that mouth accordingly, they will have whatsoever they say. Now, he comes and say now, you have a desire in your life. That means, yes, I desire to become prosperous in life. I desire to make it in life. You are sitting down there, you are saying, Father, I desire to own one of the most multi-billion dollar companies in this country. And now as you are sitting there, remember I said something to you that you are not ignorant of the spiritual world. You are telling God. Now he comes and say, you will then pull that desire out. You write everything that you desire. You are putting it down there. And say, Father, this is what I desire. Continue. What things soever you desire, uh -huh. when you pray. Now, he says, after you have desired these things, there is something that now you are doing. You are then committing your desire unto prayer. Look, you are not praying for your desires to come true. Because he has already said that whatever that you will say with your mouth, and you don't doubt, it shall be given unto you. Amen. But I've got these things that I desire in my life. Lord, how do I turn the desires into the tangible things that I can see with my Amen. eyes? Now he comes and says, when you desire, now you are coming to the position where you are praying. Continue. When you pray, yes. believe that you receive them. You've got three things now. I desire them. I prayed to the Lord. Now I believe that I receive them. I'll show you something that is amazing. Continue. Believe that you receive them uh -huh. and you shall have them. He says, now after you have prayed and you believed that I have received them, he said, you are going to have exactly what you desire Amen. in your life. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Amen. Am I talking to somebody tonight? Amen. I will show you something. Go to verse 22. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Now, it was like after the Lord came and told them that this is what you need to do. You've got to speak with your mouth. You've got to write your desires down. You've got to pray and believe and receive those things. They had asked him, Lord, how shall these things come to pass? Now he comes and says that you have to have faith in God. Amen. Hello. Amen. Your own qualification that you have has failed you. That is why your life is not moving in the direction where you want your life to move towards. But now tonight God comes and says that the only thing that is required from you it is to have faith in me. Amen. That means you are saying, yes, I want to make it, but I can't with my own ability, but God can. Do you hear me tonight? Amen. Let me tell you something. Before I hand the mic to the woman of God, the mouth that you have, it's a spiritual thing. Amen. It's a spiritual organ. Amen. Given unto you. That is why every day I want you to chart the course of your life. How so? Have 
in your life what we call talking sessions. Where at times you just sit in your house and begin to talk to your future. You are not like those people that are asking God, how is my future? But you are those people or you are among those people who know how to direct their future. Amen. This is amazing. He says, whosoever can say to this mountain. On Sunday, on Sunday, I was in Limpopo. I was preaching. And as I was preaching, before I, I even started preaching, I said, all those that are having strokes in their body, stand up. And a lot of people stood up. And I looked to one lady who could not even walk because of the stroke. Then I said, you are healed. Just begin to walk. Suddenly, the legs, they, be, they, they caught strength. And she began to walk. And they were all amazed. What is that? I said, look, this is simply the principles of talking in the realms of the spirit. Amen. Let me, take, let me tell you something. The reason why you are in the best ministry in this country, it is because you are in the talking ministry. Amen. Here, the mouth of the man of God is not shut. He can speak over your life. Amen. There are, there are pastors, even Jesus Christ said so. He said, some of you, you are wearing nice garments, but you are like white tombs that are walking in the streets. That means your future can be limited by the kind of a man of God that you submit under. Even to a position where your man of God can become a demonic entrance into your life. Amen. Glory to God. Now, I'm entering into my room. I say, Father, I believe in your word. I believe that everything that you are saying in your word, it is true. And when I'm in my room, I say, Father, the only thing that I do when I'm there, I say, the only thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do your word. Then I'll be there, I'll write everything that I want there. And I know that there is no limitation to anything that a child of God will ever desire. Then I'm saying that maybe two months from now, this is where I want to be. Then I'll be there speaking and I said, from today, I will never become lazy with my mouth. Amen. And tonight I'm speaking to some of you because you were supposed to be very far. But guess what? You are too quiet. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I was growing up, when I was growing up, let me, let me tell you this, then I'm closing now. When I was growing up, there was a time when I was 17 years of, you know, 17 years, I said to myself that, Father, now this is the time for me to become independent. Then I was speaking there, I said, my finances will never be bound by any demonic activity. Then I said, Father, I will never even depend on my own parents. I said, from today, I'm going to depend on my mouths. Then I begin to chatter things. And I said, few months from now, I will be in this company. I will be a director in this company. And as I'm speaking those words, I'm not doubting in my heart. Amen. And one day I spoke those words. And when I got out of that room, the Lord told me something. He said, now begin to walk like a director of that company. Because you have spoken the words. Then I walked, I said, Father... From today, I will not talk like broke people. When you come to me and ask money and I don't have it, I will never say I don't have it. There, 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 there were times where we will, say, we will say to people, tell them that not now. You know, we will tell them, you are looking for money, not now. I even, I, there was a time I, I said to somebody, I said, not now. He said, why are you saying not now? I said, not now. And then they forced me, I said, do you want me to confess that I'm broke? I said, not now. And let me tell you something. I did that until one day the Lord said, now you've got to promote in the realms of the spirit. Amen. I said, Father, what are you talking about? He said, come into a higher level. I said, okay, teach me. Now he said, you no longer have to tell them not now. He said, you are a prophet of God. So I said, Father, I want you to teach me what to do. And a gentleman just walked in, walked in, my, in my office and requested money. When this person came in and requested money, I said to him, it is done. 
money is with you now. Amen. 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 So check your bank balance. I was standing there. Check your bank, bank balance. And voila, the money was in the account. Amen. In, in, in December, in December, no, no, in November, how many gold they, you know, delayed to pay me close to a million rand. Now, this past November. I was, I was in my room and I'm wondering, Father, now this is month end. You've got to, we've, we have to pay salaries. Our overheads was close to, you know, over two million. I said, we have, we have to pay salaries. What are we going to do? Then the Lord said something that is amazing. He said, you've got the mouth with you. Then I was there and I began to say that tomorrow by this time there will be money in this account. Amen. And I'm speaking there, I'm speaking there. And suddenly in the morning, in the morning, my phone just rang an SMS. When I looked, there was money. Then I, 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 I made calls because the reference that was there, I knew that this company, they don't owe me anything. We have no business to do with one another. But now here is money that is here that they have sent to me. I said, Father, what do we do? He said, this is the results of your mouth. Amen. Hello. Am I causing you to sleep? <laughs> am, I, am I causing you to sleep? Not at all. Now, I was looking at you, I was looking at you, and I'm now using, you know, the eyes of the man of God in the house. Amen. Yes. I was looking at you, and as I'm looking at you, I saw Jew coming from heaven. You, just stand up. Yes. I saw Jew coming from heaven, it looked like it was coming from a mountain and came over your life. And I'm I asking see. the Lord, what is this? And the Lord is telling me that these are refreshing times that are coming to you. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Thank you, Lord. I receive. And your finances, your finances, they are being refreshed as I'm talking now by the Spirit of God. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. And you are clapping like you are the grandfather of God. Wow. Oh. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm seeing a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You've got a problem of, you know, you're, you have a lot of back pains. At times you can't even sleep. Just stand up, wherever you are. There's the healing anointing here. I'm telling you. And it's not only the healing anointing for the body, it is even the healing anointing for your finances. When you are sick, just stand up right now. Stand up. When you are sick in your body, stand up right now. Don't be shy. You are in the presence of God. Wave your hands towards Jesus. Everyone, just wave your hands towards Jesus. I'm feeling the anointing so strong here. Just wave them. What is the problem? You are even feeling the headache now. Just lift your hand to God. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Just check the pains. Check the pains. What is it that you could not do because of that? Can you just, what is it that you could not do because of the stiffness? I run out of breath from time to time. Just check the pains right now. You are doing like you are shy. The presence of the Lord is upon you. <laughs> Where are the pains? It's right here at the back of my neck. You are still feeling it? A little bit. A little bit. Lay your hand to where there's a little bit there. Thou demon of darkness, come out of this lady and never come back again. In Jesus Christ's name. Breathe in again. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Breathe in again. The pain is gone. Just check it. Is it wow? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The pain is gone. Come on, celebrate the anointing. Celebrate the anointing. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 
What was the problem? What was the problem? You were too shy. We are standing. I've been experiencing a bit of um, when I when we closed here. What was the problem? I've been experiencing a bit of um, problems with my ear. With your they ear. They were very sore. It's like blood was about to come out. Then and at I'm times, it's like one will not even work at times. Yes. yes. Which one is that one? It's mostly the, the left one. Can you hear with that one? Yes, I can hear, but sometimes it just disappears and then it comes back. All right, just, are you feeling the pains right now? Right now I'm feeling the pain and I've got a bit of a terrible headache. It goes, and then the pain goes to, uh, to, my, to my heart. To your heart? Yeah, sometimes I cannot breathe and yeah. Just lay your hand where you are feeling the pains. Okay. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out again. Again. Just check the things. They, they are gone. Do that which you could not do. <laughs> you were smiling. What happened? Um, the, the, the pain is gone and I, had to, I just had a pain on it. But okay, it's gone now. you had a pain in the heart, it's gone now. Thank Can you, Jesus. you just breathe in again? Breathe in again. I breathe better now. You're not feeling it, you are feeling better. Thank now. you, Jesus. Wow, clap your hands unto the Lord. What was the problem? Back pain, Apostle, and and let's just stand up, let us worship the Lord. Give us the soul. There's a, there are healing angels tonight. There are healing angels tonight. And I hear the Lord telling me that there was a company that was shut down. There was a company that was shut down. But as I'm looking now in the realms of the Spirit, the Lord had given that company favor. Did you capture that one? I receive. That means there is life now in the atmosphere for business. Come on, I want you to speak. Say, I received. I received. Just wave your hands towards heaven. Wave your hands towards heaven. Yes. Where's the lady? Where's the lady? You are feeling the anointing of God, right? Are you feeling the anointing? It is so strong. Where's the lady? Where's the lady? What was the problem? Can you give it the mic? Dear Jesus, Kaso Barra Kila Hate Seleke Fumus Kabara. I had a pain, a back pain, but when I stand up, Apostle, I, when I feel it, it was gone. When you stood up, the pain just yes, disappeared. Can you just check your body again? The pain is gone. Come on, celebrate the anointing tonight. Thank you, Jesus. It is gone. It will never come back again. It will never come. Where is the other person? Anybody with disease in their body right now, this is your time. This is the hour that you've been waiting for. What was the problem? I have a pain at my back, on my back. Are you still feeling it right now? I'm not feeling it anymore. What happened? I uh, like every time when I stood, when I stand up, or when I'm asleep, because I had an accident a few years ago, so I always feel a pain on my back. And you were talking about me, but I believed that I'm, I, 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 I'm gonna be healed, and I'm healed. Come here. Oh. And I know you are still feeling the pains in your body. You are not feeling it. I'm not right. feeling Just it anymore. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Lay your hand here. Stand still. Just lay your hand. Bring this one. Father, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Bring it up. Just check. Can you just check? Check the pains. You know what I saw? I just saw an angel. I just saw an angel touching your spine 
And that was the damage that has to do with with spinal cord. Thank you, God. But now it's brand new. Thank you, That pain will never come back to you again. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just wave your hands towards Jesus. Can you give us the soul? Just wave your hands towards Thank heaven. You, Jesus, and wherever you are, if you are sick, just lay your hand right there. Lay your hand right there. Lay your hand where you are sick. As we are singing now, the angels of God will be touching you. We are standing on holy ground. Yes. Precious Lord. Precious Jesus. Now, now, there's a song that says, As the deep pendeth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. Can you give us a song? Precious Jesus, Kasu Bahara Kiramas. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Sing unto the Lord. As the deep.
worship as I glorify. Take it up. Say you are great. You are great. You the miracles are great. There is no one else like you. Say there is no one else like you. No you are great. that there is no longer limitations to your finances. I receive it. As I decree and declare, I want you to receive with all of your heart. I receive it. I decree and declare as an apostle of God. I receive it. With the unction of the men of this house. I receive it. Prophet D.D. Isaacs. I receive it. I decree. I receive it. That your life I receive it. will never be limited again. I from now on, your name will be mentioned among influential I people. Father, in the name of Jesus. I receive it. If there was any barrier, any limitation, it shall never be identified with your name, says the Spirit I of the Lord. It. There is no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper. I receive it. You are protected, says the Lord. I receive it. You are increased, says the Lord. I receive it. You are moving from one level of glory to the other, I says the Lord. I receive it. Promotion is your portion. I receive it. Success is your portion. I receive it. Prosperity is your portion. I Health it. is your portion. I receive Increase it. is your good story to tell. I that says the Lord, from now you shall testify wherever you go. I receive it. Come on, say, I receive. I receive. You will testify wherever you go. I receive. Now, if you have any document which you want you to take them out, because I see the Lord particularly transforming finances. I'm telling you the truth. There are some of you, you were speaking in tongues, but your finances were barren. But tonight, tonight, says the Spirit of God. I receive it. Tonight, says the Spirit of God. I receive it. 
a testimony is coming out of you. I receive it. I want you to lift any document, whether it is your phone, anything that you receive good news from. I Glory to God. I receive it. Glory to God. Glory to God. I receive it. And I love you, Lord, with all my heart. With all my heart. Lift your hands, what's it? To the Lord. you are receiving seeds but you are not watering the seeds with your finances do you understand what I'm talking about hello Don't. this is not an offering take a seed offering in your hand not the one that you are going to give and as I'm declaring I want you to come and sow the seeds you understand what I'm talking about hello don't behave like you are broke you are a rich person, I told you. There was a reason why I told you. And this is one of the reasons. Tell the person next to you that you are not broke. So don't tell them, don't think like you are broke. Now I want you to take a seat. Take a seat in your hand. If you don't have, ask the person next to you. Tell them that don't want to be blessed alone. I'm feeling the anointing of God so strong tonight. It is so strong. I'm telling you the truth. you are holding, your phone, your wallet, your bank cards, I want you to lift them up. And as I'm declaring, I want you to come and sow seeds to those words. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, By the special grace of God, I decree and declare that any electronic device that you use to receive, I receive it. Any information, I receive it. Will no longer bring bad news unto you. I receive it. I decree and declare as a servant of God, I receive it. That from tonight, I receive it. Only good news are allowed on your device. I I speak to the cell phone that you are holding in your hand. Whether it is MTN, it is Vodacom, it is Cell C. I, I instruct it. them from the realms of the spirit for them to send good news unto you. I it. Father, in the name of Jesus. I receive it. 
I decree and I declare I receive that it. you will receive a notification of miracle money. I receive the it. money that you never worked for. I receive the it. money that you don't know where it comes from. I receive but I decree that tonight it shall take place in your account in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree I and I'm declaring tonight. I receive it. May you testify tomorrow I receive it. that promotion that you were waiting for has been approved in the name of Jesus. That miracle job that you were waiting for has been approved unto you in the name of Jesus. And as I'm talking right now, the angels are preparing the good news for you. Tomorrow you shall testify, says the Spirit of God. You shall testify of a new job, says the Spirit of God. You will testify of a promotion, says the Spirit of God. Oh, Shaka Barira Karababaya. Now I see a couple that was unable to give birth. As I'm speaking right now, the Lord has opened your womb in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord has opened your womb in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. By the special grace of God. I receive it. I tap into the anointing of the men of God. I receive it. And the, any form of disease in your body. I receive it. Whether it is HIV, I receive it. It is cancer. I receive it. It is any, any, any disease in your body. I receive it. I destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Fame is coming upon your name. I receive it. Wherever your name will be mentioned. I receive it. Favor will follow that name. I receive it. That means when your name is mentioned in corporate offices. I receive it. Only favor and goodness will follow that name. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. I hear the Lord telling me that there's a lady here. You own. A boutique shop and for some time you've been looking for an occupation for this boutique you've been battling to get that 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 building that you require the Lord says I shall tell you that the building has been approved unto you I receive it I see ten people who've been looking for houses I receive it and as I'm looking right now, the Lord says, don't limit yourself. Five of you, you were looking in Cosmos City. But the Lord says that don't limit yourself because the barrier has been taken off from you. I receive it. I see the Lord giving you a house into a place that you never even imagined. I receive it. That says the Lord that any spirit of rental has been destroyed from you. I receive it. You shall no longer rent, said the Spirit of God. I receive it. But ownership will be a good story to tell. I receive it. I decree and I declare. In the name of Jesus. The deaths attached to your name. Has been removed by the spirit of God. Says the Lord. I receive it. Wave your hands towards heaven. Begin to speak in tongues right now. Begin to speak in tongues right now. Come on, begin to celebrate, begin to celebrate the anointing. Begin to celebrate because of the miracles that have taken place in your life. Begin to thank God for the testimonies that are coming your way. Come on, celebrate in the house, celebrate in the house. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to do something before we welcome the woman of God. I just want you to celebrate because of the testimony that has taken place right now in your life. Do you know how to celebrate? Begin to shout in the presence of the Lord. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You can do better than that. Don't be afraid. Amen. Don't be shy. You can do better than that. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. When you go, ooh, when it switches off, it's like your testimony will go like that. I want you to rejoice. I want you to rejoice like never before. Come on, rejoice in the presence of God.
the person next to you that congratulations. Tell them that congratulations. Congratulate them. Hallelujah. Now, without any waste of time, thank you so much, women of God, for the opportunity. Thank you so much. And may God bless you for us. Glory to God. I just want you to celebrate the anointing that is upon the woman of God as she's coming over now. And let me tell you something. The person who will make the loudest noise, that is the one that is going to come and testify. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Let me tell you something. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just let me declare this one. That person who's going to make the loudest noise, I'm telling you, mark these words. Mark these words. By Sunday, that is the person that is going to testify of 50 million that has just been transferred. Amen! Just entered into your account. I receive, I receive it. Said something great has just entered into your life. I receive, I receive, I receive it. Something great has just entered into your system. I receive it. And guess what? You are a great, 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 oh. great, oh. great, oh. great, oh. great. Oh, oh yes. Oh. You are a great multi-millionaire in the making. I receive it. You are about to materialize in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Listen. My God. You know, God has done great and mighty things in this place tonight. Those who have missed, I don't know about them. They have missed a multitude of blessings from the heavens. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I stand here to decree and I declare over your life. I receive it. Whatsoever you've been desiring from the hand of the Lord and from the heart of God, I receive it is guaranteed I receive in your life it. in the name of Jesus. I and I decree it. and I declare over your life. I receive it. Whatsoever you wanted God to do in your life, it is done. I receive it. I come here to seal the deal of God. I said it is done. I, I said it's a it. done deal. Somebody testify. I receive Testify to your neighbor, say it is a done deal. It is a, a done deal. deal. Talk to somebody, say it is a done deal. It is a done deal. Tell them it is a done deal. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Listen. It's a done deal. And as I was saying, done deal, I don't know. Do you know anything to do with Shiloh, 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 Shiloh? Shiloh healing something, something. Silo healing something. It's my foundation. Silo healing something. That's the name of his ministry. Yeah. And the Lord said, oh! Silo healing ministry is also it's also a done deal. Say I receive. I receive. Go deeper. I receive. No. As we were screaming, I just said, Silo, Silo, Silo healing ministry. That is ministry. And the Lord says, That is ministry. Tell Pastor 
that Silo Healing Ministry it's a done deal. I receive. I receive. Listen. It, that's the message. It's a what? It's a what? I receive. I Meaning receive. Whatsoever prayer request that he has for Silo Healing Ministry, it's a done deal. I receive. It's done. I receive. Power. I decree and I declare. Power receive it. That project that you've been waiting for. I say it is a done deal. I receive it. I say it is a done deal. I receive it. I say it is a done deal. I receive it. And guess what? Anyone holding your financial breakthrough. Oh, yes. Anyone that is holding your financial breakthrough. Oh. I command those hands to release your financial breakthrough. I receive it. I command those hands to release your financial breakthrough. I receive it. I command those hands to release that miracle. Oh, I receive it. Commanded hands to release what belongs to you. I receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it, Jesus. That's my boss. My boss. It is done. Power. Yes. Anticipating it's a done deal. deal. That contract that you've been waiting for, it's a what? Oh, yes, deal. it's a done deal. It's done, Apostle. It's done. It's a done deal. Amen. It says the Lord of hosts. It's a what? Done deal. 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 Can you testify it to three people? Tell them it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's a dandy. It's a dandy. Wise man. Can you celebrate as though you mean what you're talking about? The beginning and the end, he lives forevermore. No one else can compare to the great and mighty king, ancient of days. The songs we sing, the air we breathe, it all belongs to you. God of everything, we praise your name, we shout for joy, and we'll say, He's the first and the last, He's the first and the last, the beginning and the end, He lives forevermore. No one else can compare it, no one else can compare it. To the great and mighty King, ancient of days, the songs we sing, the songs we sing, the air we breathe, it all belongs to you, God of everything. We praise your name, we praise your name, we shout for joy, and we'll say, say the songs we sing. The songs we sing, the air, it all belongs to you. God of everything, we praise your name. We shout for joy. Say and we'll say the songs we sing, the song, the air we breathe, it all belongs to you. We shout for joy. Come on. 
he is. He's just beyond words and beyond description. Amen. He's a wonder. He keeps on wondering. He keeps on moving in a word that amazes you. Amen. He keeps on doing things that are extraordinary. He Amen. keeps on working out things beyond your understanding. Amen. He's a God who is also causing you to be a wonder in the sight of your enemy. Amen. Next time when you appear in your workplace, they will not see you, but they will see a wonder appearing in the place. Amen. They will see you as a wonder. Amen. They will see you as a wonder because you serve a wonder God. Amen. They will see you as somebody they will not describe because you save the undescribable God. They will see you as something that is beyond words. They will see you as somebody that is beyond that position. Amen. And guess what? You will be guaranteed for a promotion that you have not applied for. You will be guaranteed for a promotion and an increase that you have never prayed for in Amen. your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For the Lord has desired to increase you. For the Lord has desired to heal you. The Lord has desired to do great things in your life. Somebody say, I am a wonder from tonight. I am a wonder from tonight. Say, my business is a wonder. My business is a wonder. Say, I am a wonder. I am a wonder. Wow. Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for those that have been watching us on Facebook. The Lord bless you. I pray that the grace that works in this house, the grace of the prophet, prophet Didi Isaac, who is the father of this house, and I pray that may it work for you. And may it lead you into the positions and the places that you've desired for, for the rest of your life. And may it lead you into the right destiny. May it re redirect your steps in the name of Jesus. Let this grace say to you properly in 2017. Let this grace speak for you. May it speak for your families. May it speak for your career. Amen. May it speak for your ministry. May it Amen. speak for your calling. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And we say shalom, shalom. Thank you for following us. The oh Lord bless you. Clap your hands for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.